Hi, this is Jerry Coviello, a member of the International Federation of Fly Fishers Fly Tying Group to show how to tie the crane fly nymph. Materials needed for this fly. A Tiemco 200R, you can use size 4 through 10. Thread will be uh, color to match the body. I'm using gray 60. The uh, body, I'm using a So Scud uh, from Waspy uh, material, which is a So Bug uh, material uh, blend. And a weight, I'm using a lead wire uh, for the body. And for the tail, I'm using Grizzly Marabou. For the overbody, uh, I'm using Thin Skin, and I'm using the Thin Skin Fly Specs Clear Black. And for ribbing, I'm using uh, Clear Monofilament. Step one, we'll attach the tying thread to the shank of the hook, um, and then uh, bring the thread back towards the bend, uh, cut the tag material, just so that I could uh, put a layer of uh, thread onto the shank so materials don't slide. I'm going to secure some lead wire, try to use a fine wet lead wire, uh, and put about 14 wraps uh, onto the shank or less, uh, depending on how deep you want the fly to go or um, how light you want to make it just bounce off the bottom. Here I'm uh, using uh, about 10, 10 or so wraps. Uh, then I'm going to wrap my thread over it uh, and then add some uh, head cement so that uh, it secures it in place. I saw this pattern on uh, Charlie's fly box, um, which get, so I'm just uh, putting it in video form. Uh, and he gives a great uh, talk on how what the fly is, that uh, the nymph, the larval uh, crane fly nymph, actually burrows into the bottom of the uh, stream. And what happens is they get dislodged during the high water uh, and uh, moved around there. But they are basically no legs on the bottom, just like a rock worm. Not only does the uh, head cement uh, secure the lead wraps onto the uh, hook, but it also helps it so when the uh, lead starts to oxidize, you don't get that bleed through color into the uh, fly material. Now I'm going to add a small uh, bit of marabou, uh, grizzly marabou fibers, uh, just to give this fly movement and secure that right at the bend of the hook. Right after I do that, I'm going to uh, secure uh, the um, monofilament for the rib, and then I'm going to attach the uh, overbody, which is the shell of the uh, thin skin, uh, right in the midsection of the fly and bring it right to the bend of the hook and at that point I will attach the ribbing material which is about a 3x monofilament. Um, I will now start the dubbing and uh, will wrap a cigar shaped uh, body and I'll take this far uh, right almost to the eye leaving about a sixteenth or eighth of an inch uh, at the eye and then uh, I will pull the uh, overbody, the uh, thin skin, over the rest of the fly. You don't have to use thin skin. Um, you could also use uh, Swiss straw. Um, it works uh, fine also. Once the uh, overbody, the uh, shell, is tied into place, then I will use the uh, monofilament ribbing and make nice even spirals uh, 
uh, ribbing it going towards the eye. I do not cut the thin skin at this point. I'm going to cut the thin skin and the monofilament at the same time once the mono gets to the eye of the hook uh, at its tie-in position. Now I'll just put a couple of wraps uh, to make a head at the eye position and then whip finish it. I'll add a little head cement there and then what I'll do is I'll take my bodkin and I will start picking out the fur in between the ribbing uh, just to give uh, some movement to this fly. The crane fly does not have legs but by picking out the fur uh, both under and on the sides it'll give the uh, fly a translucent look uh, once it's in the water. Instead of using your bodkin you can also use a stiff uh, what they call a dubbing brush and then brush it right underneath and that will also pick all the uh, hair out from the bottom and the sides. Uh, this is, uh, I'm just using a bodkin, it's what I have at this point. Uh, once that is done, uh, we will, uh, you'll, you will have the uh, finished fly pattern. Uh, what I'm doing is just straighten out some of the hairs, but here it is, the finished pattern. Uh, give it a shot. It's an excellent pattern for trout, smallmouth bass on the Delaware on bigger sizes. Good luck, have fun.